I want to go over the background on coalition bargaining with you. You all have read page 535 in your negotiating reading case textbook. What I have for you this evening is a graduation gift. <laughs> and don't get too excited yet, Steve. This is an early graduation gift. I know many of you, this is your last class. So what I'd like you to do is take $2 out and pass it around. And you will start to be very generous to me, right? Wow. <laughs> $2. What are you going to do with that $2? And then what I also will do, I have the ballots for your negotiation. So once we put you in with your teams, I'm going to pass out these ballots. Because what is going to happen is after we go through the rounds of coalition bargaining, you will all be asked to go into your separate areas with your teams to fill out the ballot, and that will indicate whether or not you believe you have formed a coalition, and if you have, you will stipulate the amount for your team of money you would receive, and the amount for the other team that you're forming a coalition with. As you know, it can't be the same amount. That's part of what you're negotiating. You, you can't divide it Say it's thirty dollars. You can't say fifteen, fifteen. Can't be equal. Remember, that's part of the rules. So then, I will collect these at the end and announce if we have a coalition. So everyone has their two dollars. All right, James. What I'd like to do? Oh, like these two dollars. Oh, you guys can do this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They need their two dollars. Yes. What I would like you to think about this evening before you negotiate, and you also will want to discuss this in your papers, after you've concluded negotiations, how would you justify the results achieved to the CEO of your coalition? So your CEO of the coalition isn't here, you're designating a lead negotiator. What I would like you to do now, you all have your $2, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with this exercise, it's pay to play. So what I would like now is for all of you that are going to be participating, not necessarily speaking, but part of the coalition, put your $2 back in. That is the lab fee this evening for the exercise. Right? So Nabil is demonstrating you're contributing $2 now of your own money. Yes. Should I pass it? Yeah, exactly. The deal is showing you. <laughs> so as you know, you have the paper. We have plenty of time to talk about that. If anyone has a concern about this exercise, let me know. It's possible to be an observer. <laughs> Hopefully, we will be able to review the videotape next week and that that will be really helpful as part of our debrief for you to view the videotape. But as I mentioned, the last two classes, unfortunately, we've had a, a challenge with HD, so we weren't able to receive the video in time. But hopefully we will, and if not, as I mentioned, I will get it to you via my private YouTube channel. You. Do you think that will give you enough time, 20 minutes, before we start negotiations? Because we can negotiate on this. We've got a range. My walk away point is 25 minutes. I think that you probably are all right with 20 minutes because you've already read the information and you met your teams. But uh, let's handle this in a democratic fashion. You can either vote for 20 or 25 minutes. So how many of you think you can be ready 
to negotiate in 20 minutes with your teams. Raise your hands high, please. Okay, looks like 20 minutes it is. All right, good. As I say, this is a really sharp class. So why don't we have Team C stay in this classroom? I looked when I came in, and across the hall was available, the empty classroom. And then also, one building over, there's two empty classrooms. I know that might be a little far, but I'm open to your ideas, too, as far as I just need to know where you are, and we need to have you back in time. We're going to be following a really strict schedule. So why don't we have Team B go across the hall, and then Team A, you can just let me know where you will be, if you'll be upstairs. There's more comfortable chairs and seating on this side, as well as empty classrooms. Just let me know where you plan to be. I know it's too cold outside. So we will be going through the different rounds, which I'm going to go through right now. And that will take us until about 8.30. I am going to be the group leader, obviously. <clears throat> so as far as stakes, as you know, in the real world, the resources are not always equal, right, between departments. And that is the situation with this exercise. So A and B, if a coalition is formed, that would be 100% or $36 as far as the funds. However, what I'd like you to do is use your imagination and think of the $36 as $36,000. <laughs> so that's what I would like you to do is negotiate as if hypothetical $36,000. If a C coalition is formed, then it would be 90% or 32,400 for our purposes. And if a BC coalition is formed, then it would be 80% of our funds, <coughs> which would be $28,080. So what happens if AC or BC forms a coalition, and that means <coughs> It, thank you. <laughs> yes, Eric is one step ahead. He studied all of this. He's, he's ready. Yes. Snacks. Then I keep the money, and what do I do with the money? I bring snacks. And that also is the case if there isn't a coalition that is formed. I keep all of the money, and I bring snacks. <laughs> snacks to the next class while we watch, hopefully, the video. Yes. Maybe popcorn. <laughs> so let me reiterate the rules that you've already studied. And that is all of your team members need to be present. If we have A and B negotiating, all of you are present. You may pass notes to the negotiator. So you can write down, you can pass notes. You may change between rounds your negotiator. That depends on your strategy. You may want a different negotiator every round. You may want to stay with the same individual. That's completely up to your respective coalitions. I already talked about what will happen, and only one formal coalition will be permitted. A coalition will be recognized by me if, as I mentioned, no two teams can receive the same amount of money. Neither team in the coalition can receive zero. I don't think anybody wants zero anyway as part of a coalition. So I talked about what I will do with the money if the coalition is not formed. The other team needs to leave the room and also no physical contact as part of the rules so you may not shake hands that cannot be part of a close the deal technique and i do want you to know that i will play hardball i'm going to be very strict you'll find me on the rules 
I will be enforcing the no talking rule. No whispering. Any questions that you might have? All right. Yes, Eric. Uh, so you say you can pass notes. I think there's something here about passing notes. Yes, you can. So how do you get the person's attention to pass the note? You can't say it. So. You just, just, just pass it. Just put it right there? I, exactly. So what will happen if you're on the end, just pass it over to, through the team up to the lead negotiator. Exactly. Yes. Can you pass notes to the other team members or only to yes. the negotiator? Yes. You can pass notes to each other. And then you may decide that it's going to the note is going to go to the lead negotiator. Yes. Any other questions? Does everyone remember their teams, or do you need me to call those off? Everybody remember? All right. Someone from Team A raised their hand. Okay. Good. Let me go ahead and give you a coalition concept. Sorry. To that. Team B. Someone raise their hand. Eric, can you please pass that over to Kelsey? Team C, someone from Team C, raise your hand. Okay, we've got Amanda's right here. All right, then go ahead and get together with your respective teams. Let's set our watches here. So it is 7.20, so every, what we need for the first round, just Teams A and B in here at 7.40. All right, teams A and B, we will see you at 740. And we can stop.